Okay, for you who saw my first video on this build, I can uh, now share that it's going to be an electric extreme delivery dirt bike. And now I made the frame is tacked and I made all the fixing points for the components. I also tried to get the plastics back so it would look more like a dirt bike from the beginning and maybe more like a production electric vehicle. Here you can see uh, the steering column from the snowmobile. I also put uh, some switches and uh, the ignition key will be in that place. Here you can see the motor fixing points for a sway bar from snowmobile you can see the controller radiator also from dirt bike the small battery for ignition and lights is also in position the hose for the brakes Well, now I'm going to tear everything apart and uh, weld it all together and paint the frame and also start uh, building the battery pack. Here you can see the position for the battery pack. And uh, this build was more, much easier than the last one, the dirt bike, because you have much more space to put all the electronics. If you want to see how I build the frame, from uh, beginning, you can uh, keep looking at this video. And uh, for the next video, I hopefully will have it running. So welcome back and enjoy the rest of the movie if you would like to see how I made it. Now I've removed the steering rack from the front end of the snowmobile chassis. And, uh, here you can see the plan. I will uh, use this uh, front steering with this uh, build. And this is also the steering column from the snowmobile. So I will uh, use this. Now I attack the, the chassis and align it uh, into my jig. Now we're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, rear wishbone is in position. Correct, because I'm using the, the steering rack from the snowmobile, and uh, I, I don't want to have bumps there or something strange. So it's going to be kind of tricky to position the, the upper wishbone first, and then I'm going to try to. Uh, Get this steer back in position. But I, I measured and it's 150 50 millimeters between the fixing points for the wishbones, and uh, these, these are 120, and these uh, the tubes are 30 millimeters. So if I uh, tack the upper wishbones to the same uh, tubes and then I try to get them in position, I think it can work. Now I've got the wishbone in position and uh, trying to not get that much bump steer. Uh, I didn't have any kind of measurements from the quad, so I had some try and error. So I, I lifted this uh, steel rack from the snowmobile up and down and uh, tried in best position. But I, I think it's quite good. It's, it's here, it's a bit, but it's not that much. I will 
also uh, got this steering column from the small wheel position and uh, it seems to be working. And this is the upper fitting for the for the steering column and uh, I'm gonna try this. See if I can get it in a good position and try to make some uh, chassis. We're slowly getting there. The frame is getting uh, more and more finished. Uh, you can see the I'm thinking about this uh, extension. I'm gonna put the battery here and the motor will be here. And hopefully I will get some space so I can put the controller on top of the battery or maybe in position in front of the battery pack. But I'm not sure because I want to have the, the shortest way as possible to the to the wiring so it, I won't lose any power. And uh, on top of this one I will put a, a I don't know what you call it, delivery. It's going to be a delivery bike so I will put some a box here so I can put stuff in when I'm uh, traveling to my job and also picking things up and maybe in the future go to the shop when the fossil fuel is getting too expensive. The major part of the frame is uh, finished, now it's only uh, fixing points for motor, battery and uh, the steering, top of the steering column. Here you can see the, the packing area. It's uh, one meter times uh, 70 centimeters, approximately. <laughs>